Hey guys, today I want to share with you my favorite and in my opinion the best study app, Quizlet, and show you some of the features that makes it so great. Let's jump right in. First thing, you don't have to make your own flashcards. Quizlet has a huge repository of user-generated flashcard sets that you can search by course or subject, and you can use one of those to study if you don't want to make your own. A lot of the times you can find your specific class and study based on exam, so you don't waste time studying terms you don't need. You can edit these sets, but they're still pretty useful. Okay, so what can you do with Quizlet and what makes it such a robust study tool? First, you can make your own flashcards and even insert pictures and audio, which you definitely can't do with paper flashcards. There's also a feature to export information from Word, Excel, Google Docs, or others, and you can make it public, keep it private, or share with others. The diagram feature is also pretty great, and I'll get into that a little later on. So this is a set I created for Biochem, and the buttons up top just show you what you can do with your own self-generated set, including editing it or even embedding it on your website if you want. The flashcard function is pretty straightforward. You can shuffle and choose to view either the term first, then flip to view the definition, or view the definition first, then flip to view the term. Quizlet will read the term out for you, which I muted here because I didn't want to hear it, but you could also go into options and turn it off there. Within options, you can choose to view both term and definition at the same time, which is helpful in some cases. But you can always toggle it back and forth whenever you want. Next, we have the Learn feature, which is probably my favorite. I use it all the time and it's really good at cementing the material using both active recall and space repetition. This function will present your terms two different ways. The first is as a multiple choice question, which is auto-generated, and they pr do a pretty good job of not making it easy. If you get it right, they consider that you are familiar with that term and they'll present the term again in another format in the future to make sure you have mastered it. One of these other formats is fill in the blank, which is a little trickier. I put a lot of writing on my flashcards because I have the type of class where they ask you very detailed questions, but they don't have to be like this. So if you don't know, you can click on don't know the answer and it will require you to type out the correct answer to reinforce it. Another format is via flashcards, which you will judge for yourself whether you got it or if you need to study the term again. This is good for your more long-winded terms. The next function is write, which we pretty much just saw, and that requires you to write out the correct term. If the program doesn't recognize your response as being correct, which you'll see in a second, but you know that it is, you can always overwrite it to mark it correct. Next is spell, where Quizlet will say the term out loud and you have to write it out correctly. This is really good for learning new vocabulary and foreign language words. The test function auto-generates a series of test questions including written questions where you have to write out the answer, matching questions where you have to match the correct term to its definition, multiple choice questions where they provide a series of multiple choice answers and you have to choose the correct one, you know how multiple choice questions work, and true-false questions. You can choose to omit any of those formats if you want and get either more or less test questions as well. You also have the option to print your test, which I guess would be helpful if you are a teacher and you want to hand it out to your class, but I'm sure there are better ways of doing it. It prints adequately, but not great.
The next function is match. Here you will drag and drop the correct term to its definition and vice versa. And it's timed so you can do it multiple times and see if you're getting any better at recognizing the matches. This feature is pretty well done because the chosen terms don't always make the correct answers obvious. Finally, there's gravity. Gravity is a game where you can choose the difficulty, accumulate points, and level up, but I don't use it really, so I can't tell you too much about it. I'm sure there are plenty of people who would find it fun and useful. Quizlet obviously put a lot of effort into it. So within your flashcard set, you can start the terms that you think you need more practice on or if you just want to focus on them more. I'm starting the terms for the diagram I made just so I can show you how useful the diagram function is. So just switch to start. And for diagrams, you can use either match or learn. For the match feature, you click on the part of the image you want and click on the matching term to remove them from the option pool. I chose these points myself, and for the right twisted beta sheets in the upper left, I was able to draw out that section to make it more accurate to the actual diagram. This function is so much more effective than just staring at the diagram and trying to memorize the different parts. You can do this for parts of a system, maps, anything that has a picture and some labels. The learn function is pretty similar for diagrams, but it just gives you a little different way of approaching it. You can zoom in and out on the diagram as well if you want a closer look. Okay, so switching back to all terms. If you use the learn function, Quizlet will tell you which terms you sometimes miss, which terms you rarely miss, which terms you never miss, and which terms you haven't studied yet. You can choose only those terms in each category to study, so you don't end up wasting time on terms that you already know. To add or remove terms, click on edit and scroll down to the bottom of the page. When you enter a term, Quizlet will provide suggestions that you can choose from and also definitions that you can choose from. You can also choose to add an image for, from Quizlet or if you have Quizlet Plus, which is what I have, you can insert your own image. Their images are pretty good though, so check them out before you upgrade to Quizlet Plus. You can also add audio if you want. And if you want to get rid of a card, just click on the trash can beside the term. One of the best things about Quizlet is that its mobile app is just as good as the desktop version. It has all of the same functionality and is perfectly optimized for your device. You can continue adding and studying flashcards on the go, or if you just prefer to use your phone to study. It also syncs with your account, so you can pick up where you left off if you've been using the learn function. Overall, Quizlet has taken my studying to another level. I love that it creates different ways for me to study. I love that it, I can insert images and label diagrams. And in my opinion, it is the best study app out there. If you want to know more, be sure to leave a comment, and if you like what you saw, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos for more study and note-taking apps and techniques. Thanks for watching! See you in the next video!